Hi everyone. Welcome to Farm De Guru. Today, we'll be discussing an important topic in clinical pharmacokinetics and pharmacotherapeutic drug monitoring. The design of dosage regimens using nomograms and tabulations. Let's start with a simple question. What do you understand by a dosage regimen? A dosage regimen is the schedule of doses of a drug that a patient needs to take to achieve a therapeutic effect. To make it simple, let me give you an example. Suppose you see a patient who has fever and a common cold. The doctor prescribes tablet paracetamol 650 mg to be taken twice a day BD for 7 days and tablet cetirizine 10 mg again twice a day BD for 7 days. This is a detailed plan of treatment. The doctor has specified what medication to take paracetamol and cetirizine. How much of it to take per dose? 650 mg and 10 mg respectively how often to take it twice a day or bd and for how long to take it 7 days this entire structured plan covering the drug its dose its frequency and duration is what we call a dosage regimen it's essentially a road map for how the medication should be used to treat the condition effectively to wrap up always remember the things covered in a dosage regimen are what medication to take how much of it to take per dose how often to take it and for how long to take it if you understand these four components you have a solid grasp of what makes up a dosage regimen let's summarize with a different example imagine this scenario a patient comes to the hospital and is diagnosed with hypertension now the doctor has to design a dosage regimen so what are the things the doctor needs to cover what medication to take how much of it to take per dose how often to take it and for how long to take it based on this the doctor prescribes tablet amlodipine 5 mg once a day for 30 days let's break it down the medication amlodipine the dose 5 mg the frequency once a day the duration 30 days this is the dosage regimen for the patient's hypertension treatment now We'll discuss nomograms and tabulations in designing dosage regimens. These are critical tools in clinical pharmacokinetics. We already know the outline of a dosage regimen: what medication to take, how much to take per dose, how often to take it, and for how long to take it. Generally, the drug-related data available to us comes from generalized information obtained through clinical studies or population pharmacokinetic studies. For most common conditions. like fever common cold or even typhoid this generalized data is usually sufficient for example prescribing paracetamol or antibiotics can be done based on standard dosing recommendations without much concern however when treating patients with severe illnesses such as those with renal or liver impairment or when using narrow therapeutic index drugs like theophylline or warfarin relying on generalized data is risky in such cases Small errors in dosing can lead to severe toxicity or treatment failure. To address this, we must create an individualized dosage regimen for the patient. One of the tools we use to do this effectively is nomograms and tabulations. What are nomograms and tabulations? Nomograms, these are graphical tools designed to estimate dosing parameters quickly and accurately without requiring complex calculations. A nomogram consists of scales for known and unknown parameters. By drawing a line or using the values on the scales, we can calculate the required dosage, clearance, or other pharmacokinetic values. Tabulations: These are pre-calculated dosing tables that provide recommended doses based on various patient parameters like weight, age, renal function, or disease severity. For instance, A tabulation might give you dose adjustments for a drug based on creatinine clearance levels in patients with kidney impairment. Both of these tools are invaluable when personalizing therapy, especially in challenging cases like organ dysfunction or narrow therapeutic index drugs. Now, let's see how nomograms are useful for designing dosage regimens. We will find the dose of theophylline by using nomograms. We have a patient with asthma and from clinical trial data or population pharmacokinetic studies we know that the therapeutic plasma concentration of theophylline is 10 to 20 micrograms per ml let's say our desired plasma drug concentration is 15 micrograms per ml the patient's blood sample is analyzed and we measure the serum creatinine concentration using this value we calculate the creatinine clearance 
Cl. Let's assume the clearance is 2.8 liters per hour. Now, we need to calculate the dose of theophylline, specifically the maintenance dose. With a theophylline nomogram, you align the known values clearance 2.8 liters per hour and desired plasma concentration 15 micrograms per ml on the chart. By drawing a straight line, you find where it intersects the dose scale. This gives you the required dose, which in this case is approximately 300 milligrams every 12 hours. So, the dose of theophylline is 300 milligrams every 12 hours. How does this help? The nomogram saves time and reduces errors, especially for drugs with narrow therapeutic ranges like theophylline, where precise dosing is critical to avoid toxicity or subtherapeutic levels. Now, let's move on to tabulations. A tabulation is essentially a pre-made table containing dosing recommendations for different patient parameters or conditions. It simplifies the process of dose adjustments, particularly in cases where the drug's pharmacokinetics are influenced by organ function or disease states. Example, let's consider a patient who needs gentamicin. Normally, gentamicin can be dosed easily for a healthy patient. However, in this case, the patient has kidney impairment. Since gentamicin is excreted primarily through the kidneys, we need to be cautious with dosing to avoid toxicity. Here, tabulations become extremely useful. Instead of performing complex pharmacokinetic calculations, we can refer to a gentamicin dosing table. These tables provide dosing adjustments based on the patient's renal function, typically measured by creatinine clearance. Using the tabulation, we can adjust the dose according to the patient's creatinine clearance value ensuring safety and efficacy. Summary Nomograms are visual tools that allow quick calculations by aligning known values to find an unknown. Tabulations provide pre-calculated dosing recommendations for common clinical scenarios, saving time, and ensuring accuracy. Both are essential tools in designing individualized dosage regimens for complex cases.